So this is this will be the final part, and this is the part that I'm the most nervous about because I really don't know how it'll turn out. But this is Citadel Color Technical Valhalla Blizzard. I've talked about this a little bit before, but this is the thing that I feel is gonna really make the snow scene look like snow because that's what this is. It's it's basically a bunch of clumpy, goopy stuff with l like little micro beads of plastic, I guess, to kind of make it look like snow. And I bought this a couple weeks back with the intent of using it for, for this guy here. But that's why I've made these test bases to really, to really give it a shot and see how it looks. And I've watched, I've watched some videos as far as how to apply this stuff. Like I've watched some videos on how to do it, but I'm still not 100% confident in in it just because I've never done it before. But let's let's take a let's take a moment to create a tool. We're going to create our own tool because when I watched the videos, they had this metal this metal implement that kind of like was like wedge shaped to kind of apply it rather than a brush. It seems like you could use a brush too. But let's just let's just whittle. We're doing some whittling. Let's just make one ourselves out of this bamboo skewer thing. Let's just make an applicator. And we'll see how that goes. And we'll do over here. Okay, good enough. Maybe we'll shake this stuff. I don't really know if you have to shake it, but let's shake it anyways. And let's get another drink of water. Okay. So we'll apply this stuff to one base first. We'll do it on this tiny one and we'll see how it looks. And it seemed to me that you needed to just you needed to kind of think about how snow realistically looks, right? Uh, in order to get the best result. Like you can't just splash it out everywhere. You kind of have to think about it. So let's, let's just try. I feel like I'm just icing a cake right now. Kind of neat, actually. And I think I think we'll kind of dab it off and apply a little bit less at a time. And we have to get the grass, but the grass hasn't actually dried, unfortunately. But let's test out on the grass because obviously we want the snow to cover the grass too. Let's see how that looks. I might have to wait to apply it on the grass a little, uh, give it a bit more time because uh, it's not fully dry. Oh, let's uh, change up our Muzak. I've never used this stuff before, so not really used to the application of it. I just kind of smushed it around. Let's try and get a bit more of it. And I definitely would recommend waiting for the, <laughs> your grass and your sand to dry before doing this. I'm, I did not because I'm trying to do it all in like one session today, but. It's just a test, just a test guys. 
We'll see. Let's try and cover up the grass. You know how, like, well, <laughs> Eddie lives in in hot climates, so he might not know too much about snow, but, uh, you know, when it snows, it covers up all the grass. But the layer of grass is underneath, right? And I'm trying to get that across what I'm doing now. Okay, now let's try one of these bushes. Uh, let's try this base. We'll leave one base plane as like a control, I guess. And we'll try and just get the rocks. There wouldn't be any snow. Because I'm Canadian, I'm somewhat familiar with how snow operates, but there wouldn't be any snow underneath a bush because the bush itself has like an overhang, so there would be less or, or no snow buildup underneath the bush. And also because the bush, you know, is a living thing, a living plant, it would, uh, it would also obscure, uh, not obscure, it would also like kind of generate enough warmth that it would melt some of the snow. And we're just kind of smushing this stuff on. And there's the grass. I, again, I, hmm. the grass, I haven't really settled on how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to cover up the cover up the snow. Right now, I'm just kind of smashing it on top. But ideally, I think that the grass should dry first, like the glue should dry on it, and then you could apply some on top. But now it's kind of just smushing and smashing around, which is mm, not ideal, but anyways. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. It's a, we'll see. I don't know. The word is still out on it. I think it's looking okay. But I think building up all the layers of detail helps too. You know, like mm, real snow, it, unless it's like super heavily snowing you'll still see the ground popping out and so I think it was a good idea to to really do the base and make it how I normally do and then add the snow stuff on top I think that just kind of helps with the realism I don't know I don't know and again I want to think about it in terms of realism how the snow falls realistically a big clump of this hopefully this will be all I'll need for the rest and there's rocks here so we want to get a bit of this stuff on top of the rocks right so and I'm using this this piece of uh, bamboo here because I think I think it kind of helps in terms of like not getting it everywhere uniformly you don't want it piling up in ways that seem where it's like so evenly spaced. You kind of want it to be like clumping up on the top, of course. And let's try and get the tips of the bush, the bushes. I think that might be kind of cool. The very tips and tops of the bush. Let's see if that works. I think that might look kind of cool. And my plan is to create a tree so we could put some of this snow stuff on top of the, the tree branches and stuff. I think that might look kind of neat. And anywhere it's like a big clump, I want to make sure it's we spread it around. We don't want the clumps. Say no to clumps. Say no to drugs. Say no to clumps. So all in all, a fairly productive day today. I wasn't expecting to get a lot done. I was thinking I'd just be talking about going to the to the comic convention thing, Pop X, and then talking about the stuff I bought, and then maybe wrapping things up. But actually, we ended up doing a fair amount of stuff. So you know, I'm glad. I'm glad. I need to, you know, I need to get this stuff done, <laughs> right? Not that I'm doing it for a competition or anything, but. I wanna, I wanna see. 
I want to see how this stuff looks. I want to see how it, it works. I need to test it out before we apply it to the main model. So, so it has to be done. It has to be done. Oh, it's looking actually pretty good on the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually really liking how it looks on top of the rock there. Because it, it dries. When it dries, it has a really nice kind of quality to it. Lalo's speedrun model making? Yeah, man. Um, if I could speedrun it, I probably would, but I'm just too slow. <laughs> and again, I, I need to spread this stuff out and make it look good. I'm trying to not just just let it kind of clump up, but I want it to kind of spread out. Maybe that metal implement that they were using in the videos I saw, like it's, it was like a flexible metal spatula thing, maybe that would be really useful because the flexibility of it would kind of help. This one I'm really trying to think about the snow and how it would spread out. Let's use this side, kind of scrape it along. It looks like I'm just <laughs> spreading like icing, frosting, but but some parts look really, really nice actually. This looks really great. Cool, thanks. I appreciate it, uh, Lelo. I really do, because like I said, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how this stuff works. This is my first time testing it out, but I'm glad it looks Gouda. funny because I, I I have more or less covered up a lot of the stuff that I had done previously <laughs> but oh I think it looks pretty good let's see okay so here's an example right here are three examples this one here has none right this has none and the bush kind of stands out right it's it just looks like a, a white bush amongst all of this stuff but the rest, it looks, the bushes look really integrated in a cool way. And it does seem like snow, like it feels like, it's kind of like that like thaw snow. It, it reminds me of spring, like mm, winter is over and now we're into the spring and things are melting and kind of like turning into like a slushy kind of snow. And so you still see a bit of snow, but there's like rocks and stuff. That's what it kind of looks like. Night trap, does this stuff fall off? It doesn't fall off. Uh, I go like this. <laughs> it doesn't fall off. And I think when it dries, it'll become kind of hard, but I I still think that you'd probably need to apply some kind of um, uh, fixative or something to it on top, I think. This is the one that I was working on the most. And I, I like it, I like it. I put some of it on the bush. I put some of it on the top of the bushes. But we could probably work on that a bit more to make it look more frosty. But I think the rock, like the rock here, looks really nice. The way the rock uh, has some snow on top. I like that. I like it. So all in all, not bad. Yeah, again, this reminds me of like a spring thawing kind of snow, uh, which is cool. Like I didn't want just a pure white. I didn't want just a pure white snow to cover up the entire base. And we'll be doing that all over this. That's the that's the main objective, which we'll probably do the next time I stream. We'll probably work on this a whole lot more. And just try and make it look really natural. That's the goal. That's the goal. But I think I think that's not bad. This is the one that yeah, I kind of worked on the most. And it's gonna dry. As it dries, we'll see what it looks like uh, a little later, but yeah, maybe I'll look at some photos of snow too, as if as if I'm not familiar enough with snow. I can kind of observe how real snow works. Yeah, not too bad. Let's try and spread it. Let's try, let's try and spread some more of this stuff on top of the bush. It has it has already dried. 
a bit some of the stuff that I've I've poured out. And if I waited for the for the for it to dry more, it would look probably a bit better, but it's okay. As far as like the the grass goes. But hmm. There we are. There we are, folks. All that effort. <laughs> and this is the result. I think it looks pretty good. Great effect. Does DW have their other weathering effects? Um, yeah, they do. They have like mud and lava and stuff. Uh, rust. Uh, yeah, it could be cool to mess around with. And actually using something like this for a diorama, for a, for like a Gundam, might be really cool. Or, you know what would be really neat? Like a Gundam that's been busted up and broken down, you know? Like a diorama that's of a Gundam that's been destroyed or something. And then it's it's got a bunch of snow on top. And you could have snow on the base like this. And then snow on top of it. That would look really cool. Uh, anyone, I'm offering that idea to anyone that wants to do it, but I might do it too, <laughs> a little later. Uh, but yeah, that would be really neat to see. <sighs> but you know what, guys? I think that's going to do it for me today. So if you've made it this far, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Um, thank you to Kit Checker for the raid. Thanks to Yellow Turtle for hanging out, Night Trap, Eddie, Carmi. You guys, you guys know. If you know, you know. Not Slide, Ashwin, Bacon and the Gang, and Vanilla. Everyone, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. Here, let's say goodbye with our little, our little spirited away pal. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. GG, enjoy the rest of your day.